Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're having an issue with games on your computer where they're opening up and then appear to be minimizing themselves in short order. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result, check it back with registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything would go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, all you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on, on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you would have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to that file location and then you would select open. So now that that is out of the way, we are ready to begin and we're going to start by double clicking on the HK current user folder. Do the same thing now for the control panel folder in here. And now you want to go down to desktop Go ahead and just left click on that one time. On the right side, you want to locate a value in here that says foreground lock timeout. Right here, double click on it. And in the value data field, you see what I have currently on my screen here? It's 30D40. So again, 30, 30, letter D as in David, 40, base hexadecimal. Make sure that's what it is in here. And then select OK. And then once that is done, you want to close out of here. Open up the start menu, type in game mode. Best match to say game mode settings. Open that up. Toggle game mode to the off position if it's currently on. So it should say off. That's what you want it to say. And then once you're done with that, close out of here as well. And now we're going to restart our computer. So right click on the start button, select shut down or sign out, and then select restart. And then hopefully at this point your issue has been resolved. If you're still having a problem, something else we can try here as well. If you were to open up the start menu, type in CMD, best result, check them back with command prompt, right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I'm gonna have a couple commands in the description of my video. First one is a DISM scan. So go ahead and copy that and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here, right click on it, select edit and paste that in. and give us a couple minutes to run. It may take a little bit longer depending on your hardware, so just don't be surprised if it takes a little longer or seems to get stuck at a certain percentage. Do not worry about that, that's perfectly normal.
Okay, so once that has finished, go ahead and copy and paste the next command in the description of my video. This is the system file checker utility scan. And we're going to go ahead and run that one as well. And once that has concluded, close out of here. And you want to restart your computer at this time. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.